All right, so I'm about to go into CWB so-called headquarters and office of this racist ass motherfucking newspaper and so-called media. CWB has talked about black people, Mexican people, Jewish people, Palestinian people, and, and the worst thing, they talk shit about me of course through the internet so I know CWB is supposedly connected with a lot of police so they say so they act I'm keeping it legal I'm filming myself right now saying everything is legal I just want to go in there and have them call me that racist ass shit that they said on the internet to me in person they will make 100% history if they call me that racist shit in person. I don't even want to talk anymore. It's okay to be racist. I said this many damn times in my life. I prefer you tell me that you don't like me because of the color of my skin. You're not supposed to like me. You don't have to like me. You don't have to hang out with me. The world is a big place. You go that way, I go that way, and that's just the way it goes. But when you call me that racist ass shit behind a computer, that starts affecting me. Because people go do a Google search and they're like, oh man, CWB is making fun out of this guy because he's Mexican. And that's just not going to happen. In 2024, all you bitches do this behind a computer. You never did this to me in high school. You never did this to me in the projects. You never did this to me in prison. You, no one has ever said anything to me. They just keep walking. But you get behind a computer and you get real, real tough. Well, now I'm going to go where you are behind your computer with you and call me that racist shit. I'm going to go to every single person who works at CW Beams after this. This is just the beginning, and I'm going to protest. It's legal. I'm going to do a peaceful protest. You know when you see me, it's going to be different. But you know what? I don't want to talk. I'm not one to talk. That's not what I do. I'm, let's, just, let's just go ahead and do this. Just for the record, there's a guy on the right of me. He's not with me, just so you know. I'm going in all by myself. What that guy in the right, I don't know what he's doing, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. Just for legal reasons. One eleven building. After I post this video on YouTube, I'm gonna bring some more people here to protest these bitches. Yeah, it's not, I think we're after hours, some badge system. Hey, how you doing? Sweet 100s upstairs? Um, this will be a staples. Thank you. Uh, that way? Yeah, staples right on that door. Go outside that way? Okay, thank you. Do you see the closed McDonald's? Yeah. I'll be by staples. That's different when you see me in person. Don't worry, we're going to keep everything legal. Be the first person in history. Call me that racist name in person. Oh, it's a fucking P.O. box. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What kind of pussies are you? This is different kind of pussy right here. You don't even have an office. Your office is in Staples? <laughs> Wow. Wow. You pussies don't even have money for an office. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
unbelievable. Hey, how are you? I'm doing all right. Um, I don't mean no disrespect to you at all. This isn't CWB, that newspaper who talks about black people and Mexican people, is it? 111? CWB, this is Staples? Yeah, the Staples. They got a, so they got on their website, they're talking a lot of crazy stuff on the internet. So I decided to come pay them a visit to see if they want to keep those racist names up. They, they, got, lying, baby. they got CWB. Chicago, 111 North Wabash Avenue. That's because sweet wine, I'm going to tell you, this building has so many sweets in it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you. Sweet 100. It's next door to us. I just went there. Stuff. They That's told me it's, it's here. That's where it's at. It's, uh, it's over here in Gold Revolvers. And all the way right, when you walk in, there's a convenience store right there. That's that's the Sweet 100. We're 111 North Wabash. We're staples. <laughs> right. He told me it's here. The security guard. They're right oh. next door. Really? And it's different suites inside because if you look suite to your 100? left, suite one hundred. You look if you look okay. to your left, there's elevators that you go on. Is this suite one hundred? This is suite one eleven. Okay. All right. Thank you, girl. Thank you too. Make that racist remark. Can't even come out in public, huh? You got a PO box. I have a wild guess. It's just a P.O. box number. That's real pussy. Wonder why you talk all this shit through the internet. I don't even care that you're racist. You just don't call me that. It's okay. Uh, what's your name? Hey. How you doing, sir? How you doing, bro? It's a newspaper right here. Uh -huh. CWB Chicago. Uh -huh. 111 North Wabash Avenue. Suite 100. Mm -hmm. Suite 100 up here? No, you, that's typically Suite 100 at Staples. I just went to Staples. They told me it's up here by the elevators. Uh, up here by the elevators? Yeah. Suite 100. Yeah, Sweet 100, like I said, is typically Staples. Um, yes, that's we usually see people over to Staples. I'm not familiar with this news company. It's some racist news company who talks about black people and Mexican people. So I want to see them to their face for mm. calling racial slurs. Yeah, I could definitely call my supervisor down here and see. Yeah, if, if you don't, if you don't mind. Thank you, because here's the address: CWB Chicago LLC. 111 North Wabash Avenue, Suite 100. Right. And I just went over there to Staples at your request, and she told me, uh uh, it's in here. All right, let me see what Unless they got a P.O. box number. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 not, like I said, I'm not familiar about anything about that company, but I, I'm going to see right now. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll be the admin. Loud and clear. Hey Abby, do you um know of a news company name? What's the name? C B C W B C W B Media. News company negative. Um and we don't talk to reporters nor newscast. That would be the office of the building. Tim for Sasha direct them to the office of the building? Negative. You can give him a business card and they can get in contact with us. Ten four. Can you tell her it's sweet one hundred? It ain't got nothing to do. I'm not the. New, I'm not with her. No, yeah, I yeah. think she misunderstood. Yeah. I'm just looking for sweet one hundred. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not. It's have nothing to do with no, the building or her. That's why I'm not even filming you right now. I got against the wall. It's it's them. Right. Sweet one hundred. It's not about the building. Hey, yeah, Abby, um, he said like it's a C100, but that's Staples, right? You said what? Send them over to Staples, that's not us. Okay, bet, yeah. Oh, yeah, like C100, that's Staples, so if it's a PO, PO box, it might, I know they got PO boxes over there, and mail it's a boxes in, over there, so there's definitely strictly Staples. All right, brother. Hey, thank you. Sorry about that. No, 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 it's not your fault at all. Thank you, man. You have a good summer, all right? You got a P.O. box.
<laughs> okay, that's fine. You know what? I'm just gonna have to spend a few dollars. I'm gonna hire me a private investigator. And believe me, I know some good ones. I'll find out who owns that damn private mail and box PO box. Pussy ass. That's a pussy shit.